When the woman leaves, she catches her dress on the door and ends up tearing it. The boy asks if everything is okay. And she responds that she isn't. She said the police are after her and runs away and the boy asks her to wait. The woman runs a lot. And the boy runs after her. The boy shouting a lot for her to wait. The boy ended up tripping and as he fell, he bumped into the woman and they both fell to the ground. The woman comments that this must be a joke, slaps the boy, and tells him to get off her. The boy said he just wants to help. The woman asks if she's playing with her face, and the boy says he just wanted to give her that shirt to cover himself. The woman says that she thought the boy was from the police. He asks for an explanation because he doesn't understand anything that's happening. The woman asked if he didn't know her, and then introduced herself. And she comments that she took everything that the politician stole to give back to the people, and now she is being sought. And she says it's hard to be alone. And she needed someone to help. The boy says she really needs it. The woman tells him to help, and the boy asks if it's serious. The woman says that the boy wanted to go after her, and now he's going to get involved whether he wants to or not. She comments that the police are keeping an eye on her house, and they really needed a token that is inside. And without it, you will be unable to access the records. And she says the boy can go to her house. And the woman says that the police don't know him. The boy said he has to disguise himself. My wife asks him to pick up the token at her house. And she says it can't go wrong. My wife says she will give all the instructions over the phone. And the boy says it's agreed. The boy says he has already entered the house. The question is whether he saw any black bags. The boy said yes. The woman says they are strategic. And she asks the boy to send a kiss to the last bag. He doesn't understand and the woman insists. The boy starts blowing kisses to the bag. Once again the woman says something unusual vivo and says when she opens the door, turn around and roll around. The boy thinks she is serious and will do what she asks. My wife asks to open the door carefully. And she said she has something behind the doorknob and wants him to get it. The boy opens the door carefully.
and he said he has a wig and a cloth. The woman said it's a good disguise and asks him to wear the cloth as a dress and a wig. And the woman says she needs the boy to do this. And the woman says she can't suspect anything. And the boy will put on the clothes, and the wig, as a woman asked me. And the woman asks the boy to hurry. He asks to calm down because he is holding the phone and it is difficult to do everything quickly. She asks to calm down and the boy says he's not nervous. The woman asks the boy to put a hand on his knee. He doesn't understand. She asks him as she puts her hand in, and sticks out her butt. And then dancing, and the boy doesn't understand. But he begins to do what the woman asks. And the woman says it needs to be at the pace she is going to do it. He comments that he already did. Then he says he found something that might be important. And she says it's a cell phone. And the woman tells her to leave her cell phone there. The boy says he will return it, but puts it in his pocket. And the woman asks him to go to the shelf, but she needs to dance. The boy says he has already arrived. She says he needs to dance to the floor. And the boy starts drinking water. She asks if she did. He lies and says he already did. And the woman asks him to get a bouquet. He says he found it. And the woman tells him to walk to the stairs. The woman asks if she can see the stairs. And the boy says yes. And the woman says he needs to take one step far, and another short. And the boy says he's going up the stairs now. And the woman says she needs to crawl up the rest of the stairs. And she needs to have the bouquet in her mouth. And the boy says what she asks. And the woman asks to take it easy. The boy says he has already climbed to the end. And he says there are a lot of doors. The woman starts whispering on the call. She says there is a door in front of him. The boy walks there. And the woman tells him to open the door very carefully. The boy sees someone and sneaks in.
he is afraid to touch the person. The woman turns around and gives him a fright and laugh in his face. The boy asks what that means. The woman says she was always there. The boy asks why all this. She says she needs to know if she could trust the boy. And the boy is unhappy. She tells him to take off his disguise. She gets up, welcomes him, and says that he is now her assistant. He says he was embarrassed, and the woman says that now he will make money from her. And the two kiss, 